bet you think about me. I'm not sure if it was just a coincidence or it was actually coordinated that way, but Jack Antonoff, the producer who has had a major hand in Taylor Swift's last six albums, is getting married this weekend, and since Taylor is on a mini break from her heiress tour, she's luckily able to attend. And hopefully after this weekend, Jack and his soon-to-be wife, Margaret Qualley, will still be saying luckily. So, tonight was the rehearsal dinner at a Long Beach Island bar in New Jersey. Taylor arrived with Channing Tatum and Lavender Hayes co-writer Zoe Kravitz, and they headed inside the venue. No. Oh my God. I love you, Taylor! I love you. Word spread around town that Taylor was there. Are you ready for it? This quickly became the scene outside as hundreds of people. Now Swifties do not want these people called Swifties. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, a massive crowd filled pretty much every blank space outside the bar, waiting for Taylor's inevitable exit so they could say, I can see you. Some even started chanting Taylor's name. <laughs> like this is in the middle of Jack and Margaret's rehearsal dinner. Lana Del Rey arrived at some point as the crowd really started to grow. Police showed up to control the situation, and then yeah, Taylor made her exit and saw that everything has changed outside. Channing and Zoe accompanying her once again, the trio quickly got into their getaway car, and all those people got their three second glimpse of Taylor, and Channing and Zoe too, but yeah, all that for a quick glimpse. Bravo. And yeah, Swifties Online are calling this crowd the anti-hero, and Miss Americana, Taylor's documentary from 2020, is trending, as Twitter is reminded of this scene outside Taylor's New York apartment. Oh my God. So this is my front yard, and I'm highly aware of the fact that that is not normal. And also when discussing her 2020 album Folklore, Taylor talked about the ever presence of fame in her life. Every day it's like, how do I make myself among my friends and family and my loved ones not see this big elephant that's in the room for our normal life because I don't want the elephant in the room. Yeah. I'm sure Taylor feels pretty bad, and she shouldn't because it's not her fault. So I hope she's able to just shake it off. Uh, I guess, not the upside, but at least um, Jack and Margaret are in this world too. Obviously not to the, you know, the, the level that Taylor has to experience, but yeah, it's not completely foreign to them. And even uh, Margaret's mom is Andy McDowell. So yeah, this isn't completely foreign to them to have to deal with this. Um, and Taylor talked about that idea that, you know, people in her life have to deal with it. If you're gonna be in my life, I, I feel like there's a certain amount that comes with it that I can't stop from happening. Would it be enough if I could never give you peace? This song was basically like, is it enough? Is the stuff that I can control enough? But the rain is always gonna come if you're standing with me. Now the thing is, they're not out of the woods yet. The wedding is today, I'm assuming. I didn't research where and when the wedding is because, like, I wouldn't relay that information anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming it's today, so I don't know what they're going to do. I hope Taylor still goes. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if the venue is, you know, the, the location is out there. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a shame. It's like, what are these people doing? Like, I mean, yeah, leave her alone. As one person said on Twitter, this is not a public event. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that crowd that really just needed to calm down and go home? <laughs> 